Hi there, this is Rob at Reason101.net and I'm here to show you a tutorial about how to automate the unautomatable inside Kong. And uh, this came out of a post um, that Clockno answered, so I'm actually um, stealing his tutorial, although he didn't really write a tutorial about it, but he's just providing a suggestion to um, crossfade between the, the different um, automation parameters or the different parameters inside Kong that can't be automated. So a big thank you to Clockno. I hope I'm pronouncing your name right. Um, a big thank you to him for doing this tutorial and for inspiring us to get this done. So let's uh, start off. Um, the problem basically is that if you have a Kong designer and uh, what I will do yes actually I will put this inside a combinator so let's just combine this quickly okay so the problem is that right now if you open up a drum module let's just get a physical bass drum and let's put an overdrive on it um, the two parameters here the resonance and the size can be automated but the drive can't be and this is this is true of all the effects devices what happens is each effect has two parameters that can be automated the drive cannot um, what you can do is you can go into the programmer and you can um, let's see what can you do for drum one you can automate um, FX let's see you can automate FX1 and FX2 to have them on and you can um, automate the different parameters the two parameters so that's what you can do so to get around this limitation um, there is a way to do it and what this involves is it involves using the dry sound without the drive turned on um, or using two different instances of this effects unit. But in order to do this, you're going to have to create another Kong. And you're going to have to have nothing going through this Kong, but you are going to have to put an overdrive resonator there and up the drive. Let's say we're going to up this to about 111. And so this is going to play the drum that's dry, and then we're going to send that same drum through here, and this is going to be your wet signal. And then we're going to crossfade between the two. So before we continue, what we want to do is we want to create, uh, let's see, two line mixers. And I'll just pull the line mixer up to the top. Okay, we'll create another one, and we're also going to create uh, two audio mergers and splitters. Okay, and we're also going to have to have one other audio merger and splitter between the two Kongs. Okay, so now let's tab over to the back, and let's remove all the routings here. Uh, so first thing we're going to do, we're going to have the left going from the first line mixer and we're going to have the left going from the second one into the right. So this is going to be your left mix and this is going to be your right mix and then this is going to be your dry signal and then this is going to be your wet signal. Now let's have the Kong the main output is going to be going into the, um, let me see, yes, into the uh, splitter here. We're going to send one split back up to, um, let me see, I can never remember this, um, back up like so, or no, I'm sorry, my bad. You're going to send one split out here. And then what you're going to do is you're going to send another split that's going to go into the second Kong. And then you're going to take the output going back out to the wet signal. Okay. And then you're going to have one split going to the left. And the second split over here is going to be going to... that one I believe that's correct okay and then f you're gonna do the same here you're gonna send one split going into number two 
and then the second one going into number two over here. Okay, so that's the routing situation. Now what you're going to do, tab this over, and now we're going to just program one thing. Well, we're going to program four things, actually. Under the left, what you're going to do is you're going to take the level, or sorry, you're going to take the pan from channel one, and you're going to change this to rotary one. You're going to select the pan from channel two. One is going to be minus 64 to 63. The other one is going to be 63 to minus 64. And then on the right, you're going to do exactly the same thing. Rotary 1 for both slots, channel 1 pan, and channel 2 pan. OK, so one is minus 64 to 63. The other one is 63 to minus 64. And that's going to be rotary 1, which is going to be the crossfade. And I'll just remove all of these. clean up. Okay, so now you've got the drum going through. That's clean. And you're crossfading to one that has a higher drive. What I might also do is remove the levels, change the levels down to about, I don't know, about 78 or so. Otherwise your signal can get a little hot. Just make sure they're all balanced. Okay, again, that's the dry signal. And then you're crossfading to a very wet signal. And this is exactly how you do, um, how you go from this overdrive unit into this overdrive unit with a higher drive. And you're basically crossfading between this drive and this drive over here. That's it in a nutshell. And um, I will make this patch available when I write up the full tutorial on it. Uh, for now, I hope this, uh, this is something that you can use. And uh, again, thanks to Clockno for pointing this out. And in this way, you can automate any parameter that you find you can't automate on your um, on your effects units. So until next time, thanks for watching and uh, I appreciate it. Come back to reason101.net for more tips and tutorials. Thanks a lot.